We turn now to a COVID alert as cases of the Omicron variant continue to decline. Now comes word of another variant that could send the positivity rate back up again. And officials say current vaccines may not provide protection against the new strain. News 12's Virginia Huey has more. There's so many new ones, it's just, it's crazy. It's, you don't know what, every time you turn around, something else. Sandy Semino of Bethpage reacting to the news that yet another strain of COVID-19 may pose a threat in the now two-year-long pandemic. It's called BA2, a subvariant of Omicron. Lab experiments yet to be peer-reviewed. Researchers say it spreads faster and might cause more severe disease than Omicron. Current vaccines may not provide protection against the new variant. Studies showed it appears to be about 30 to 50 percent more contagious than Omicron, and it's been detected in 74 countries and 47 U.S. states, including New York. We are certainly watching this BA.2, this is the sublineage of Omicron, because it is showing some kind of level of transmission advantage. The appearance of BA.2 comes as children are off from school for winter break. Health experts are bracing for an uptick in infections due to BA.2. Every time we have a vacation, every time family gatherings are, are coming or uh, patients get together, uh, without many masks, we always see a little surge. We're in the same predicament last year during Thanksgiving with the same amount of numbers right after Delta. Governor Kathleen Hochul is expected to make a decision after the winter break about whether to lift the school mask mandate. Health experts say with the emergence of BA2, policymakers should err on the side of caution. BA2, uh, Omicron, Delta, Alpha, every time we come, these new variants come out, you're better off playing um, being on the safer side than lifting mandates because you see in, uh, decreasing numbers. Semino and other Long Islanders News 12 spoke with agree. I think they should still be wearing the masks until we have <laughs> a better grip. But I think it's a necessary precaution and, it, and it's not that bad. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island.